I was sitting yesterday and thinking about what, what have we done. Because I was actually part early days in these discussions uh, when it set off in, uh, I think it was mid-2000, when the first communication came from, from uh, but also about creating a, a uh, institute of technology. 2006, something like that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then the first feedback we have was that we, we didn't want one house in Europe, we wanted to be a network organization, and that what was what it became to be. And uh, I was actually also part in the hearing in Budapest uh, fighting for the, for the ICT Labs proposal, and from that we have built up the organization, which is now up and running, we heard this morning by Willem Hem. But have we created what we wanted? And that was the question that, that you asked here. Uh, what we said from the beginning was that we, in addition to already existing instruments, we wanted to have, and I have a slide which I used in 2007, and I'll read the first bullet here, we want to create a long-term existing ecosystem operation in, in the fields of education, research, and innovation in a mid- to long-term European perspective, 10 to 15 years. That's we are trying to do. That is exactly what we are trying to do. But my question is then, we need, we need to look, and I think Soran, you touched upon that, we, we need to look on what are the instruments that we have, and what is the added value of, of EIT, and, and the kicks that we are trying to do now. We have the, the framework programs, uh, FP5, 6, 7, and Horizons are coming on. We have the joint technology initiatives, we have the private partner, public partnerships, we have the European uh, Innovation Partnerships, we have the Eureka program, we have national program, we have regional program, and we have a lot of other programs as well. The thing is that we want to make, uh, we have introduced a, a, a model in EIT ICT labs, which I think from an industry point of view is, is excellent. That is the uh, carrier catalyst model, where we actually make use of, of the idea of about 75-25% uh, funding, where we actually, as partners, we bring 75% of the investments to the table, using making use of the different instruments I, I just mentioned, the, what we are doing in the free framework programs in the PPPs and so on. And we use the other 25% from, from EIT to, to leverage the investments that we have uh, done or are doing in the, in the existing instruments, trying to bring results a little bit further on the road, integrating them together perhaps. The, uh, the, 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 the extra added value that we actually want to bring with the EIT, besides what we are doing in the framework programs, in the JETIs, in the PPPs, which we can talk hours about because that's, that's our home turf. That is that we want to connect the, the educational systems to what's going on in industry in order to see to it that we can actually have a securing of available competence in Europe for the future. We want to attract the top talents to come to Europe. We want to attract the investors, innovators, entrepreneurs to come to Europe. And that is what we're trying to do when we're now setting up the, the EIT ICT labs. If you as audience today, even though it's early morning, hear my word trying to do, I, can't, I think I said it th three times now, because that I think is important because this is actually what we are doing. We are, I think, I think that Willem said we started with 4 million, we are today at 40 million euros from, from the EIT funding, that is the 25% of the cake. We are still in the face of trying to understand how we should do this in order to make it a really good example of integrating the knowledge triangle. Because we come, we can't forget about our history, and we come from a situation where we in Europe we are very excellent on doing pre-competitive research. And that is what we have done. But ladies and gentlemen, we need to understand it's a difference, a huge difference of doing pre-competitive research together with partners and doing innovation together with partners. And the latter, I must say, we are still very much on the learning curve. It's a different time scale. It's a different rules of the game, and it's a different set of partners that you need to have when you're doing innovations. And what we said from the beginning was that we want to increase not only the availability of competence, but we will also increase the research and innovation in cross-disciplinary research areas. <laughs> For that, ladies and gentlemen, you need partners from cross-disciplinary sectors. And that's where sometimes I 
as a representative of, of, of EIT as the apps, but also from industry, think that sometimes the EIT uh, didn't really hit the targets because all the kicks are mainly built up by a homogeneous set of partners. EIT, ICT labs, we have partners mainly or not maybe solely coming from the ICT industry. It's very difficult to do innovation in other sectors if you don't have the partners from those sectors. But if we, for instance, talk with about uh, intelligent transportation system where ICT can make a huge difference in Europe, fuel consumption, and environment uh, uh, effects and so on, we need to talk to the car industry. But the car industry is currently thinking about setting up their own kick in, in transportation area. So we have a little bit of, of thinking there, is this the smartest way to do in, in Europe? That's one point. The other thing which I would like to conclude is, uh, with about is that we need to have a, mindset, a change of mindset from, from partners in, in the kick and in the system as well. I think today we have EIT on, on, on the track, so to say. We have the, the kick up and running, and it's still in the growth phase. And I, say, uh, I stress again, it's still on the learning phase when it comes to innovation. And we need to understand that we need to change the mindset from, from seeing EIT as yet another funding funding agency to more see it as a joint venture because that is most important thing we talked about we talked about in the beginning when setting up the kick setting up the EIT that we are networking hubs and nodes in Europe innovation hotspots and each and every innovation hotspot is built up by large industries academia and institutes and we want them to exercise open innovation, to share knowledge in order to make best use of the results that comes out from the framework programs and the research programs and academia and so on. And you don't do that if you view this as yet another funding agency. So that is the same thing that we are working on and we're discussing it in the ICT labs and we're discussing it hopefully also with the other kicks. I look at Willem because that's your responsibility to stress between the kicks. But to, to end up, to, to, to close up, I think that what we set out to do, and what is important for industry, uh, not the least, is that when we want to have something new, we need to see that it also delivers. And one point that we set up from the beginning was that if we want to do something new now, it needs to be simpler and faster compared to what we have had in the past compared to setting up the, the, the PPPs, the, the JETIs and the framework programs and so on. We also need to acknowledge that we are not doing only pre-competitive research, which is very long-term research work. We're also doing innovation, which means that we need to stre stress the ease of change. Change of, at all levels. Programs at node level, project levels and so on, because reality changes. And if, we need, if reality changes, we need to be able to change our plans. And we need to have this transparency in the system, very stable rules, so it's very easy to understand how this works because that increases the speed of operation as well. And the last but not least, I think that we are... I'd say it might depend on that because we are still in the build-up phase, but I think we are seeing a little bit too much of over-administration and reporting to the EIT and it's too much reports to ask what the EIT commission so forth and so on. And we will kill innovation in Europe if we spend too much time on doing reporting. So, thanks very much. Okay.